Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has claimed that the U.S. is withholding weapons and implied this was slowing down the Rafah offensive. Netanyahu, in a short video, spoke directly to the camera, criticizing Biden. Give us the tools and we'll finish the job a lot faster. However, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the only issue was in sending heavy bombs. About the 2,000-pound bombs and concerns that we have about them being used in densely populated areas. The latest war of words between the two allies signifies their rift over the Gaza war, which has now entered the ninth month. Gaza authorities have claimed over 37,000 Palestinians have been killed. In the immediate aftermath of Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel that killed some 1,200 people, the U.S. promised absolute support to Tel Aviv in a bid to wipe out Hamas. The Biden administration supplied massive quantities of weapons and funds to help Israel. But with time, its position shifted by a certain degree. Of late, President Biden has made some stinging remarks directed at Netanyahu. Humanitarian assistance cannot be a secondary consideration or a bargaining chip. One of the main reasons for Biden's changing stance is the growing global chorus against human rights violations. The indiscriminate killing of civilians, including women and children, has evoked an outcry from around the world. Even the International Court of Justice ordered Israel to halt its military offensive in Rafah. Netanyahu, however, did not comply. Another major worry for Biden is protests from within his country, especially the democratic support base. Students across several top universities have called for an end to U.S.'s support to Israel. Students of Columbia University stood at the forefront of this campaign, which then spread to institutions across the country like wildfire. In election year, Biden is well aware of the ramifications of this widening unrest. So the U.S. president has now come up with a three-phase plan to ease the situation in Gaza. The first phase calls for a full and complete ceasefire. The second would include the release of all remaining hostages held by Hamas and the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza's populated areas. The third phase calls for the start of a major reconstruction of war-torn Gaza. The United Nations has adopted the US-backed ceasefire resolution, but both Israel and Hamas have been reluctant to fully endorse it with Netanyahu disbanding his war cabinet, a move that consolidates his influence over the war and his latest remarks directed at Biden, the odds of a ceasefire remain low.